Another big crowd filing in for Saturday night baseball here at Fenway Park in Boston. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Baltimore Orioles and the Boston Red Sox. It'll be fun watching these two go at it. It's next on the show. Chris Sale, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. Dan Fleezak, what do you got? Thanks, Matt. Chris Sale, you're talking about one of the premier pitchers in the game of baseball. Big fastball, 95 to 98 miles an hour. Wipeout slider. Great comparison. He's the closest thing we've seen to Randy Johnson. A nightmare against lefties. Three pitch guy, fastball, slider, and a changeup that's getting better all the time. He is a definition of a true ace. And we are underway from Fenway as the first pitch of the night is taken for ball one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in off a loss last time out, but they've been playing well, winners of five straight prior to that game. Yeah, Matty, they've been playing some quality baseball. The first four games of this homestand, they've taken three out of the first four, looking to capitalize and continue to play good ball today. You know, Dero, this is time to get greedy. When you win three of the first four, boy, if you can win four out of the first five, that sets up a really nice stretch of baseball. They'd love to win this one here today and keep that roll going. And there's out number one. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Danny, any thoughts? Well, I love watching Manny Machado do his thing. He's really had a heck of a year in the power categories, slugging over 500 coming into this one. That means almost every time he's hitting the ball, he's hitting it hard somewhere. Should be fun to watch. Now batting, Danny Valencia. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. First pitch of the at bat. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Oh. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Oh. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2 and 0 oh now. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. You know, D-Row, Woody Keller's a good umpire, but at times the consistency kind of wavers a little bit. I'm not sure if you'd say he's a low ball umpire or a high ball umpire. Sometimes his zone changes from game to game. Yeah, he can be a little inconsistent, Dan, no question about it, but he's approachable. As, a, as an offensive player, I just want to be able to turn around and say, is that as far as you're going today? And Woody will usually give you an answer. Stepping in, Manny Machado. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. First pitch on its way. And that one just missed outside. Bases are empty here with two men out. A ball and a strike now to Machado. Hey, I think this is going to be the key to his success out on the mound. That good movement on that two seam fastball is going to keep that ball in the yard and keep this offense on its toes. The 1 1 is looked at off the plate for a ball. They're going to probably stay away from this guy. He's got so much power, you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate. But I think when pitchers try to be too cute on that outside corner, they might leak one a little bit inside, and this is where that guy would jump off. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. It's a swinging bunt up the line. That's a foul ball. Another 2 2 offering. A little bouncer, but it gets fouled. Just underway here at Fenway Park. Mine to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. 
Here's Chris Davis now. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah and that hit might not amount to much but anytime you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Here's the first pitch to him oh. and a neck high fastball that time lifetime against Chris Sale he's got three base hits in 22 tries. One Davis. and one the count to Chris Davis. Get hard to short. Bogarts has it on to second for the force out, and the side is retired. One left for the Orioles. O's and zero. Sox coming to the plate. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Kevin Gossman is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Baltimore. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you take a look at that ERA. That's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs to start pitching a lot better than he has up to this point, and it'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they come in losers of seven of their last ten games, but did earn the victory last time out. Yeah, Maddie, they started this road trip off right. Yesterday, there was one common theme. There was great starting pitching. Guy went out and absolutely executed. Hopefully, he passes the baton to this guy today, and he goes out and follows suit. Here it comes on nothing and two. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. The 1 2. Little flare out to left. And a dive in left, but he can't get it. It'll get by him toward the wall. And he's going to get the second now with nobody out. You've got to applaud the effort there from the left fielder. It just didn't work out as the ball squirts by him, resulting in a double. That's the danger of leaving your feet in the outfield. Into the box, Xander Bogarts. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. The average not quite where he wants it, down in the 220s. Four home runs and 17 RBIs. Ready with the 0 1. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Mancini has a beat on it, one away. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Who are you focused on, Dan? Please ask. Well, you have to be really impressed with what J.D. Martinez does for this offense. He hit nine home runs last month. There was a period where he just caught fire. He got into a nice groove and started launching baseballs. And he hasn't lost that home run stroke yet. So coming to the plate, Mookie Betts. His career numbers against Kevin Gossman. He's hitting 437. And of those hits, three of them were of the home run variety. Let him go. Oh, 
Here's the first pitch to him. This is line to left. Mancini is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Next up for the Red Sox, J.D. Martinez. And he's looking to snap out of what's been a rather dry spell at the plate. First pitch of the at bat. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Hit hard on the ground to second. Scope has it. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. One left for the Red Sox. Still no score. Striding into the box, Jonathan Scope. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now a swing and a fly ball on the move is Betts. But this will land out there just foul. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. The ball and two strikes. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0 and 2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch. The one two Quick. is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. So here's how the Bo Sox are positioning themselves defensively. And let's focus our attention on Xander Bogart. Shortstop up the shoot. One of the best in the business. One of the smoothest players in the game. We talk a lot about Robinson Cano and how he goes about his business in second base. The X man is no different at shortstop and the bat plays too. So coming to the plate, Mark Trumbo, lifetime against Chris Sale. He's got five base hits in 26 at bats. He also has one home run. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. Trumbo, a California born ball player. He was taken in the 18th round back in the 2004 first year player draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar. But to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. No score here as we play inning number two. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. Two and one now. The two one home. Taken strike two. Pitch on the way. A uh, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. As he'll take a look at ball one. Two out, nobody on. Into right field, that's a base hit. So a two out knock, and we'll go a little deeper into the top of the second. 
Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D. Rowe, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Stepping in now, Tim Beckham, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Very weakly on the ground. Jones is off of first with two away. High pop-up. Moreland waits on it. And that's the third out. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one man left aboard. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing nothing. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. His career numbers against Kevin Gossman. He's got four hits and 10 at bats. The wind up and the 0 1. Drill down the line. But this will get foul for strike two. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Good waste pitch, one and two. The one-two is laid off for ball two. The two-two doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Now the payoff pitch home. Popped him up. Beckham in foul ground. One out. All right, let's take a look at the defensive alignment for the Orioles. And this team right here is known for kicking the ball around. They have the lowest fielding percentage in the entire league, and it could come back to haunt them in this one. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 1. Oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Swing and a miss. It's 0 2. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0-2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0-2. Here's Jackie Bradley now. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. We'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. The 1 0 home is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now.
From the wind up, the 2 0 pitch. Outside and low, 3 0. Rafael Devers would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Bottom of the second here with no score. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. He'll try it again, three and two. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. We'll move to the third with no score. Ready now for Baltimore. Andrew Susak. And he'll start out their half of the third. Top of the order to follow. First pitch of the at bat. That's Takes a, a fastball on the inside corner. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. A swing and a miss at a ball down. The two two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. And here's the big right handed power threat Trey Mancini as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 0 for 1 for him here in this one. That's in there and he's deep in the hole now 0 and 2. You know if I'm the hitter right here I'm like OK. You want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, but now game on. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight change. Of, he hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Standing in now, Danny Valencia. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Third inning, no score to this point. A ball and two strikes now. Here comes the one two from Sale. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local station. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. His career numbers against Kevin Gossman. He's gone two for eight. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a high fastball for a strike. And 
Strike two as he swings and misses at a ball in the dirt. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. A bouncer up the middle. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infielder to make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. Coming to the plate now, Christian Vasquez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch to him. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Devers gets his lead at first, nobody out. He's going, he's Runners going, he's off going. for second. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. He's not gonna get him as he swipes second. You know, I like the aggressiveness there. They haven't cracked the scoreboard at this point, so it's clear they're trying to manufacture something by forcing the action. We'll see if it works out for them. Here's the one and one delivery. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. The 2-1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's count and ended up chasing one out of the zone. Now the count's even again. 2-2, here it is. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Waiting next is Dustin Pedroia. No one out with a runner at second. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four according to Woody Keller. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that with too much. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Second shot now. He doubled to start out the home first. From the stretch. Line drive to center field. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. No sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, Devo, to make sure that gets through and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The 0 1 pitch. Missed with a slider.
Swing and a soft liner. That's in there. Base hit. One run score. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. And the second run will score. That makes it a 2 nothing ball game. Hey, this one's a long way from being over, D-Roll, but that big base hit right there gives him a two-run lead. Yeah, Dan, without question right there. Huge at bat. Gives his team the lead. Hopefully the pitcher's able to settle down now. He's got some runs on his back, and he's able to go out next. Here's Mookie Betts. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. The 0 and 1 delivery. Ripped down the first base line. And that's by him down the line in right field toward the corner. And the run will score from second here as this is now a 3-0 game. Dan, that's a nice RBI base hit on a hard grounder down the first baseline. If the first baseman's holding him right there, it's probably a double play, but not the case. No question about it, Hugo. Sometimes it's a game of inches, and that ball hit were vacated for the first baseman if he was holding on. That would probably have been one of those 3-6-3 three, three double plays. Instead, it's down the line for a base hit. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself in bad counts. Now the 1 0. Swing and a little tapper, but that one rolls foul. Three runs already home here. Bold strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? This is a great spot to be in as a pitcher. You have two strikes, you can bury one for a potential strikeout, and at worst, keep the ball down in the zone. You might be able to turn one pitch into an ending, ending double play. The one two. There's a sharp slider taken low for a ball. Broke out the sweeping slider right there and just missed off the edge. If he would have caught the corner right there, I think he's got a backwards K. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. The 3-2 pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. That makes it a 4-0 ball game. Boy, this one looked like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley. But he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. One ball, no strikes to count. home and now a pitch hit sharply on the ground but a foul ball one and one here's the one and one delivery 
Plays off the slider that time. Two and one. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Two balls and two strikes now. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. One there and nearly a double play. That was closer than I thought it would be, and the inning will continue. Took a pretty long time for the shortstop to receive the ball that time. So that gave the runner plenty of time to bear down on him and take him out. Hopefully everyone's okay down there. In now, Mitch Moreland. That's a foul ball. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Now a throw over to first and the runner back. Four runs here in this half inning. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. This is pulled into right. Into the slide, and he comes up with a great catch to end the inning. Fine sliding catch here will take us to break. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Here's Manny Machado now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Here. First delivery to him on the way. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. Able to lay off the fastball away here. Two and one now. Gets the sign. Here comes the two one. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Great AB so far. I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team. Maybe give them a shot of confidence that they got a shot to get back in this one. And he lays off their ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. Here's Chris Davis now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Oh and two here it comes on oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. 
Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he's part of a flat-footed tie for the AL lead. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jonathan Scope. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. First delivery to him on the way. Fouled off. Let's go, guys. Come on. Let's go. Shoots this one over to first, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Tapper up the line. Played on the backhand. And indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the sure out. Now batting, right fielder. Here's Mark Trumbo Mark. now, runner in scoring position with Sudan. Come Here comes the first pitch. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. That's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher. Is he going to try to pitch around me, or is he going to come in the strike zone? And he looks at one in there, one and two. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch hit hard back up the middle. And that is through into center field. A base hit. And the run is in from second as they're on the board for the first time. Four to one now. Dan, you were one pitch away from getting out of this. Two outs, two strikes on the batter, and he's able to throw out a ribby knot. Dero, it's hard to get more frustrated than that as a pitcher. You're one pitch away from getting out of a lot of traffic on the bases getting into the inning and next thing you know you give up a two out two strike base hit nothing more frustrating for a pitcher than to have that happen here's the center fielder now Adam Jones trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single ready with the nothing in one pitch Slider taken here one ball one strike Trumbo leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning weak rounder back to the mound oh, and he has some trouble with it now batting third baseman Jim Beckham digging in to try it again Tim Beckham he's 0 for 1 thus far Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Down and in here, one ball, no strikes. Here comes the 1-0. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Count now at two and one. Two one, here it is. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. It's a run on two hits here for Baltimore. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Red Sox four and the Orioles one.
Digging in for his second at bat, Jackie Bradley Jr. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Bradley. Or JBJ as the initials read his contract is set to expire at the end of this season so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Hey I think if you ask this guy honestly how his season's gone so far he'd tell you he's not happy with it. It's been kind of an average year for him but he has time to get hot and make that salary push. And he missed with it it's one and two. The one and two pitch. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Good time now to check out the Orioles road to the show report as you see a couple of guys in the upper levels that have been making waves of late. Ready for another chance. Rafael Devers reached on an error and then eventually scored in his first at bat. And the pitch. Here we go. Lifted the other way to left center. Mancini on the move. He gets there and that's the second out. No Riding in once again. Richard. Christian Vasquez. He drew a walk his first time up. First pitch of the at bat. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Let's go, Red Sox. Now the pitch. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Two outs here, and the focus needs to stay sharp. You don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if you can help it. Wind up the 2 0 pitch. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. So the lineup flips over and digging in Dustin Pedroia. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Change up in for a strike. And now a right hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Hits are now even at four apiece. And here's one that misses to Pedroy, and the count evens at one and one. Line toward the alley in left center. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. Back with more on this fine Saturday night following this. Now at the plate, Andrew Susak looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Here it comes. A fastball right over the outside corner. He 
into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Line softly toward the hole. And he'll step on first himself for the out. How about it? Left fielder. Trey Mancini. Ready once again, Trey Mancini. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Grounded down the third baseline. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. The batter, first baseman, Danny Valencia. Digging in once again, Danny Valencia. He went down on strikes last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Ball one. One oh. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Betts is after it. Into the corner. He makes the catch to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. And this is still a 4 1 ball game. Digging in and looking for more, Sander Bogarts. He's one for two in the ball game. Sander Bogarts. First pitch on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. It's one and zero. Ready with the one zero pitch. There's a strike. The 1-1 one, one. is in there for strike number two. Come on, Boston. The 1-2. One, Misses, ball two. Two, two. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Slide and a stop by Scope. Got him. And what a vital play there, preventing the leadoff man from getting aboard. Wow, what a great show of range there. This ball looked like it might get through up the middle, but check out the spiding stop. And that's going to take him right into a good throwing position where he's able to get enough on the throw to get him out at first. Here's Mookie Betts. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's one for two in this one. Wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Zero. And a ball diving into the dirt, a swing and a miss. Four runs, four hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Grounded up the first baseline, and he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Here's J.D. Martinez. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Four runs, four hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Sent on the ground, but right into the shift. Machado has it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down 1 2 3, but they lead it 4 to 1. Here's Manny Machado now. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Manny Machado. Come on, Red Sox. 
first pitch of the at bat on its way. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's one and oh. You know he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally so we'll see if he can spark one here. Into his wind up here comes the 1 0. A ball and a strike now. A one and one count here's the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Betts has a read on it. And that's the first out of the inning. A chance for last year's MVP runner up with the bases empty and one away. Here's Chris Davis. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. So far, this has been a very productive outing. We're into the middle innings of this one, and his pitch count is down. And this might be one of those starts where he can work deep into this game, possibly into the eighth or ninth inning. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. Well, he definitely puts a charge into this one, and the outfielder has zero chance to make a play on it. Next thing you know, the relievers in the pen have another ball to warm up with. Here's Jonathan Scope now as he rips it on the ground to second. Pedroia has it. Throw gets him. Two down. The batter, right fielder. Mark in now for the O's. Mark Trumbo singled home a run in his last time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Davis on third with two out. Off speed pitch, and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. Pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to it either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Go, let him score! Down the three one is a fastball, and he can't connect three and two. When you get yourself to a 3 1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. And he missed with it there, ball four. It's a two out walk with the runner still at third. Now batting number 10, center fielder Adam Jones. Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. First pitch coming, here it is. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. Well, the O's have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now would be a great time for that. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Popped him up. Moreland has a play. And that retires the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. The five, six, and seven slots do up in the bottom of inning number six. The Red Sox four and the Orioles one. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Orioles, number 48, Richard. Next up for the Red Sox, Andrew Benintendi. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 
This is hit the other way out toward left field. Mancini waits on it. One out. The first baseman, number 18, Mitch. Moreland. So the leadoff man retired, and that'll bring in the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch sinker misses in on the hands that time. It's a ball and no strikes. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. The 1 0 is taken strike one Blyer a native Floridian. He was taken in the sixth round during the 2008 draft. Hey nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Now the one and one pitch two. is taken for strike two. The one two is looked at for ball number two. He's playing two, two, two. Here now the two two. And a hard sinker there. Chopped foul at home plate. The two two one more time. He's laid ball. off and the count runs full. Three balls, two strikes, the count is full. Count remains full. Another full count offering on its way. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four according to Woody Keller. Man, when you don't get a call on a pitch that good, you have to wonder if maybe it's personal. You can't blame him for being angry, but he's got to find a way to move on and focus on the next batter. Here's Jackie Bradley now. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here it comes. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. Come on, Fuck. Off the plate oh, and no, in. It. It's a ball and a strike. Second, soft liner towards short, and that's in there. Base hit. Now a long throw to third, and the throw by Jones will not be in time. He's in there at third. Boy, D roll. That ball wasn't hit very hard, but when you're struggling like this guy is, any knock is a good knock. Yeah, 100. percent He doesn't usually get those. He has to square it up mid barrel to find a way to get a knock. He hasn't had much luck this year, but he'll take that any day. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2 and 0. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage done. Three and oh now. Christian Vasquez will be next. That's in there three and one three and one with two on and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Hits are even right now at five aside. Oh, 
line toward right center and a base hit and that'll get the run in from third. The relay throw and this will not be in time as he's into third base safely. Heck of a job by the batter right there. You would have thought he bought himself a fastball. But gets an off speed pitch doesn't try to do too much and drives it for a base hit. Into the box now, Christian Vasquez. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Vasquez hits a little over the 270 mark. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. 2-0 now. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Now the 2-0. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3-0. and That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Ready with the 3-0. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. one's down to third beautiful diving stop there's one throw is dropped at first and as a result they'll be forced to settle for just the one and those are plays that cost you ball games you're already losing and then you make an error like that to compound things that's how things snowball on you and you start to feel like you can't do anything right Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Two for three with a double on his line so far. First pitch to him. Lays off 1 and 0. And when you're already down 5, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. One oh home to Pedroia. Squared that one up just a little late. One one hard ground ball to third. Oh just a brutal hop and it goes right by him. Hey this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single three for four right there. He's looking super solid. At the play. Here's Xander Bogarts now. This ball's in the air now out to right field. And the Sox keep pouring it on. This is extra bases as well. And the runner will score from second. Now both men are across to score. Now the relay home. The tag and he is out at the plate as two runs score but not the third. So it's four runs on four hits here. One error and no one left on base. Seventh inning coming up. The Red Sox are out in front, eight to one. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Red Sox on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But first, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Tim Beckham. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. 
Not a bad idea right there. Make this guy work and see if he can throw the ball over the plate. Throws the first pitch for a strike. They need to get some runners on base and not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the pitcher came in with a strike on the first pitch. And that's through into right. So a leadoff single here to start the seventh. Now batting, Captain Andrew Susak. Digging in once again, Andrew Susak. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch on its way. A high fastball is in there. All right, all you're asking for as an offense is a chance. Well, your leadoff man has certainly done his part. He's gotten on base. You have to start clawing back into this game right now if you're going to find a way. I'm set with the 0 and 1. Grounded fouled off to the right. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Beckham on it first. Nobody out. Into right field. That's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, there's a base hit right there. Now they have a couple of runners on with less than two outs, but they're down by so much in this game that hopefully maybe they can get something started here in this inning. Yeah, 100%, Dan. I played the game a long time. I've never seen a big league hitter giving that bat away. You chip away and fight until that 27th out is made. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. The one one is a fastball that misses. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on, but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. Now the two one pitch doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting at fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. The three and one pitch. Swung on and missed a full count now. First and second here with nobody out. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Pedroia on to Moreland. It's a double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Into the box, Danny Valencia. And Sale will get the upper hand to start the at bat here at strike one. Hey, we're moving into the later innings right here. This guy's continuing to pitch well with his first pitch strike percentage well over 60%. That's about league average so far, so he's right on point. Comes set and the 0 1. Missed with a slider. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. Now the one and one pitch misses for the second ball. The men on third with two down. He's fallen behind now three and one. Manny Machado would be next if they can keep this inning alive. He's 
set. Here's the 3 1. Slap hard the opposite way. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Boy, Dero, you have to be licking your chops sitting in a 3 1 count. You get a fastball, he gets it, and doesn't miss it. Yeah, one, uh, Dan, that's what you strive for. Find count leverage situations where you can be aggressive. Process of elimination tells you he's got to come fastball or something over the heart of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Standing in now, Manny Machado, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. This is high. It's one and one. Here we go, Red Two no. and one. Two ball. One Two out with the man at first. Quick. Ball even at two and two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Full count still. Hit down the third baseline. Devers fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So one run on three hits, no errors, and one man left on. They'll get up and stretch here at Fenway. It's the Red Sox eight and the Orioles two. Ready for another shot now. Mookie Betts is working on a one for three thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. Here's a 1 0 cutter that's low, 2 0. When you're down six on the mound, you got to at least throw strikes here. Now the 2 0. It's laid off, but in there for strike one. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. J.D. Martinez is on deck. Dribbled to the right side. That winds up foul for the second strike. Now the payoff pitch home. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Another full count pitch home. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. A lot of indecision there on that check swing, and that's something you see quite a lot on three and two. When the difference between striking out and drawing a walk in can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. In now, J.D. Martinez. As the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. No hits to this point. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. That is fouled away, one ball and one strike. One one pitch and a good sinker there but he can't find the zone two and one. The two one home. The 
strikes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Hey that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of a sinker. Sometimes it's a matter of whether or not it's moving east west but that one right there had such good downward action. Great pitch. Here's another two two. Ball. No. Full count now. Three and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. The left-handed left hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Martinez, base runner at first with one out. Let's do it, base hit. This one's down to third. Right to him. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More from Boston after this. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Red Sox, number 33, Matt Barnes. Here's Chris Davis now. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Designated hitter, Chris. Let's go, guys. Come on. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. Winging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Come down now. Hey, if he's going to offer at a fastball above the zone, why don't you just continue to climb the ladder? Don't be shocked if he goes even higher with this next pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. And there are the final numbers for the Boston starter. He was great all night long. Digging in to try it again. Jonathan Scope. Career numbers against Matt Barnes. It's been pretty good. Five for 12. From the stretch. There's a breaking ball over the outer half. Now the 0 1. And a neck high fastball that time. Bases are empty, one man out. Softly hit out to short, and that'll be the second out. Now batting, right fielder, Mark Trumbo. Here's Mark Trumbo now, one for two in the ball game thus far.
First delivery to him on the way. Up around the face. Bases are empty here with two men out. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2 0. Now, when you've got a six run lead out there, there's no reason not to go right at guys. You have to keep attacking the zone. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Adam Jones would be next. Here it is, the 3-0. Finds the zone, strike one. Hey, that 3-0 pitch might have been important for him right there. Regroup, get his mechanics back under him, and drive something down through the strike zone. Wouldn't throw the exact same pitch right here. Might want to cheat towards one of the corners. The 3-1 and one pitch. And a fastball misses there, ball four. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. Stepping in now, Adam Jones, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. So far, two for three in this one. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. That's back to back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot. 0 1 2. Let's see if he can battle back in this AB. The 0 2 delivery. And a breaking ball freezes him. Strike three called, and the side is retired. Orioles leave one. Still 8 to 2. Donnie Hart enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Ready once again, Mitch Moreland. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Moreland! Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Hart, a 27 year old, he was selected in the 27th round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Now the 1 0 is taken for ball two. Well this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever but falling behind two and zero oh doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Trumbo has a read on it. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Here's Jackie Bradley now. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First offering on its way. And that misses ball one. One out, nobody on. A knee high fastball. Come on. Come on, 
Here's the 1-1. One, one. Now here's the ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. There's a deep fly ball. Doesn't quite get out of the ballpark, but it hits in the right spot as it bounces off that hard warning track and over the wall for a ground rule double. Not sure if he had triple on his mind, but I doubt he'll complain too much about getting to coast into second base. Rafael Devers the next to bat as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Bradley, a runner at second with one away. Get him over. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Popped up. Hart is there. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Somebody's going to be icing their thumbs after this game. That's a jam sandwich, but able to mix in a knock. Driving in once again, Christian Vasquez. He reached on an error and later scored his last time up. Set and the pitch. A fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. A one and one count now to Vasquez. First and second now, one man out. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. The 2 1 home. Laid off of for ball number three. Dustin Pedroia is on deck. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Long throw to third. And he is in there. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. Pedroia waiting, the 1 0. Here's a swing now by Pedroia as he sends this one in the air to deep left field. Gone over the monster and out onto Lansdowne Street. A three run shot by Dustin Pedroia, number 148 for his career, as this lead got even wider. There's a case of a ball up in the zone. Not the easiest pitch in the world to get underneath and drive it out of the ballpark. Good piece of hitting right there. Ball up in the zone. He didn't miss it. He destroyed it. Okay. 
Yoshika, number two, Xander Bogart. Here's Xander Bogart now. Skied into straightaway right. Scope will look this one in, and there are two away now. Now batting, right fielder, Luki. Next up for the Red Sox, Luki Betts, who comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Grounder down the line at third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. And that oh, one just outside. missed outside. Oh, Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Here now the 2 2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So they score four times on four hits. No errors and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Red Sox 12 and the Orioles 2. Welcome back to baseball on the show from Beantown, Boston, Mass. We're set for the final innings of this one. Digging in, Tim Beckham. He's working on a one for three thus far. Tim Beckham. First delivery to him on the way. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And he takes strike two. Two strikes. Hit hard to third. Devers has it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Up next for the Orioles, Captain Andrew Sousa. Ready for another chance, Andrew Sousa. It was a single for him in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Ball. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at bat. It's ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Good. High pop up. Pedroia is calling for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. And here's the big right handed power threat Trey Mancini career numbers against Matt Barnes he's one for five. Becomes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Oh and one here it comes and he fouls this one off A crowd in excess of thirty seven thousand come to their feet. Fastball down near the shoe tops. Ball 
Baltimore down to their final strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. 12 to 2, the final score in this ball game. Boston led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Chris Sale earns win number seven on the season. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, click over to theshownation.com.